What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Cornerback Janoris Jenkins, formerly of the New York Giants, has been claimed off for of waivers by the New Orleans Saints. Who that? Who that say he going to beat them Saints? Who that? Who that? Yeah, they didn't pick them up. This guy is a top 10 cornerback, man. He was having a, a pretty solid year with the Giants, man. He didn't have a lot of team success. But he did have four interceptions in 13 games for the New York Giants. But uh, he fell out of favor with the uh, team management when uh, he said uh, he had gotten to it with a, a fan on uh, Twitter. And he tweeted, called the fan a retard. And obviously that wasn't a politically correct thing to say. Got a lot of blowback. The uh, team management wanted him to apologize. He refused to apologize. He said, you know, that's, you know, I, you know, that's just who I am. You know, I grew up talking that type of slang, man. I don't mean... The guy is actually a retard and nothing like that, but that's just how we speak, you know, where I'm from. So I'm not going to backtrack or retract what I said. Team then said, well, you got to go. And they uh, booted him off the team and uh, waved him. And uh, he's now been claimed by the New Orleans Saints. And he used to uh, come over there with a former teammate with the Giants, Eli Apple, who was, all, who was, also, who was also on the team that formerly of the New York Giants. So the uh, Saints need – Cornerback help. They help. They've had some uh, injuries in the secondary, and uh, he'll be a good addition to that team, man. You know, he'll be a solid, solid corner, man. You know, they gave up a lot of yards in their last game against the San Francisco Giants, as uh, Jimmy Garoppolo looked at like uh, Joe Montana, Steve Young uh, reincarnated against them last week, as he had a big day passing against that defense. So the secondary has had issues. As of late, and uh, that's why they've claimed Janora Jenkins, man. Janora Jenkins' talent has never been a problem. It's always been attitude. Uh, does he play hard, play in and play out? But ability has always been there, man. He was a guy that had a lot of red flags coming out of college. And he was drafted by the Giants. And he seemed, uh, in his first few years there, to seem to kind of quell those, uh, those uh, things that people were worried about coming into the draft as he as he has. As, <clears throat> as he went to uh, Pro Bowls with the Giants, but he seemed to have reared his ugly head this season as he's had uh, a lot of different issues that haven't really been brought to light, but he's nevertheless, he's had a lot of issues. And uh, the situation with the calling the, the fan a retard on uh, Twitter was basically the last straw that broke the camel's back, you know, per se. So and that's what eventually uh, led to his demise as far as the New York Giants goes. And now he's a... Uh, New Orleans Saints. Now they can't uh make a move officially to after this game against the uh, Indianapolis Colts tonight in the Superdome. But uh, right after that, I, I would assume within 24 hours you will see an official announcement that the New Orleans Saints have picked up cornerback Janoris Jenkins of the New York Giants. Again, he's had a, a career. His career uh, interceptions are 22. He has 22 career interceptions. That's not bad, man. He, uh, He's been in the league, uh, let's say, around about nine seasons. I think it's been his uh, ninth season coming in there. And you got 22 interceptions basically since 2010 to 2019. So it's basically nine seasons with 22 interceptions. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, stat rate right there. He's, he's basically averaging, you know, you just divide nine into 22, man. He's basically averaging at least two interceptions every season, a little, little over two interceptions every season. So. That's a pretty good rate, man. He's not, uh, uh, I think probably the last, I see probably the last two or three years, I think he's, his uh, play has dropped a little bit. You know, at a point he was basically, he was probably a top five corner. Right now, I probably put him more uh, top 10 corner, made toward the bottom part of the top 10 too, as far as uh, top cornerbacks in the NFL. So he's his play has slipped of, of late. I don't know if that's due to age, uh, due, to, due, due to him being on some bad, mediocre teams. The last two years, the Giants have, uh, what was the last, what, I say last two years, the last three years, the Giants have failed to make the playoffs ever since the, when they played Green Bay Packers in that wild card game, and they got beat pretty soundly after they gave up that Hail Mary right before halftime, and that pretty much was a nail in the coffin as they got uh, dominated in the second half, and uh, Green Bay Packers took that victory on to the next round and upset the Cowboys in the second round and made it all the way to the NFC Championship before they were blown out by the Dirty Birds, Atlanta Falcons. So ever since then, that probably was his last uh, Pro Bowl level season was that year there 
as uh, the Giants got a lot of flack for uh, being on the boat. They were obviously was on a boat. Um, o OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr., uh, Cruz, and uh, Shepard. They were all, uh, you know, during the week leading up to the wild card game against the Packers. They were on a boat having a big uh, boat party on there, took pictures and all that. Got a lot of blow black from the fans saying that they didn't take it seriously. seriously. I didn't think it too much of it. You know, it was the off day. You know, you can't police what players do on the off day or even during the time when they're away from the facility. That's their time. It ain't like you can say, you say, well, okay, since uh, – Anytime you're away from here, you only can do X, Y, and Z. It don't, it don't work like that, man. Them guys got lives, too. So they wanted to uh, have a good time, get on a boat, and get out there in the water and uh, sail through the water and all that, and take pictures and have a good time. Hey, and who, who, who am I, anybody, to try to knock that, man? You know, if they'd have went over there and beat the Packers, nobody would have even uh, brought that back up again. But since they blew, got beaten, dominated by the Packers, especially in the second half, uh, they want to, uh, you know, cling on to that uh, – you know, not taking that game seriously, a playoff game seriously. They, they were worried about partying on the boat instead of uh, focusing in on the Packers. You know, OBJ had a drop pass in that game too. Didn't play well at all in that wild card round. So it was, it was, it was, it was uh, a thing that a lot of people like to bring up, man. And that kind of curtailed uh, the, uh, the the Giants' uh, playoff run in a lot of fans' eyes. But I don't think it really played a big part in it. I just think the Packers just outplayed them. But ever since then, man, uh, Janor Jenkins and uh, the Giants' uh, success has gone down since that particular season, man. So we'll see what happens, man. Maybe he'll be able to uh, give the the uh, Saints that added boost in the secondary, secondary, and maybe they'll be able to go on a run. They meet the 49s again. Uh, you know, the Seattle Seahawks, which Russell Wilson can put some put some yards up through the air. You got uh, the Dallas Cowboys with Dak Prescott. You know, he can he's got some weapons there with. Um, with uh, Cobb and uh, those guys there, Witten and Jarwin, and um, they've got some weapons there. You got, um, you know, you've got who else? You got who else in the playoff picture? You got the Green Bay Packers, Aaron Rodgers. He can, he's got Devontae Adams. He can put up some big yards through the air. So it's a good uh, pickup for the Saints, man. You know, you're looking at going to the playoffs. You're going to get some, you know, you're going to be meeting some teams that can uh, make plays through the air. So. You know, it's, it's a good uh, pickup, a good addition for the Saints, man. We'll see what happens, man, as they go on their playoff journey. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holla.